So we're gonna be continuing with the current mission which is Dangerous Mines and yeah anyways welcome back to some more Fallout 4 guys let's continue with the game. Um, so we're just gonna have to follow this path here that holy crap Wait, what the hell is this? Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. What a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but... I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. So we're actually um, in Kellogg's memories right now. People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Yeah, let's just continue with the path. No wasting time. to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but, uh... You don't really believe it. You focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, She'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fun. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you I found another memory. weren't there to I help them. You. Who's the voice? I wonder who that is. It's pretty strange. But this seems to be pretty interesting. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, 
we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself. That's right. We pay you, and the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Those skills, though. Hmm. Damn. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. That was pretty We're sick, though. Out of brain here. Uh, ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. I have to admit, that was very amazing. The way he just took all three of them down. That was sick. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Both computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. go through that again I found another intact memory whenever you're ready is that your son this appears to be a very recent memory so good news I think oh there's Sean This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. 
but it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Well, some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It's all over. But the dreaming. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. What the hell was that? Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. That is just so amazing. Alright, so now we have the proper information to find uh, Sean. So that's good. Let's see what's gonna happen next. side effects the procedure might have had no one's ever done this before how do you feel I'm okay doctor thank you that's good but I want you to keep monitoring yourself we have to be sure there's no long-term damage are you ready to talk about what happened in there we got what we needed the Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. 
He's waiting for you upstairs. So guys, um, that is the end of Dangerous Minds. I'm going to end it right there. And I will see you in the next episode, which we'll, which we'll be starting the next mission, which is the Glowing Sea. And yeah. Alright guys, take it easy. See you later.